good on the back of a horse. The Indian in him. You should not have traded cows for the pony. We have so little. Uh, we'll get by, don't worry. Look at him. Mom, did you see me? <laughs> My son has his father's spirit. Too much, I think. <laughs> the Mohican now found an opportunity to make a powerful thrust with his knife. <laughs> <laughs> Magua suddenly relinquished his grasp and fell backward without motion. And seemingly without life. Just a little more. Yeah, it's late. Please, Uncle Jethro. All right, a little more. Well done for the Delawares. Victory to the Mohicans, cried Hawkeye, once more elevating the butt of the long and fatal rifle. It's time to teach them to read. They like the telling. It was the same when I was a girl and we listened to grandfather's stories. Well, they're sure curious. Like their father. Jacob was always thirsting after something new. He loved this book. It is good you tell them book stories. Yeah. This time I bought him some new ones. Afternoon. Afternoon. Well, I'm sure hoping you folks can steer me in the direction of the digs. Seems we got myself plumb lost. Diggs. What you heard? Well, San Francisco's going crazy. A fellow up there showing off gold from Sutter's Mill. Right up here on the American River. Gold? Oh, somebody's joshing you. No, it's the truth, mister. You must be hungry. Stay, eat supper with us. Thank you kindly, ma'am, but I best be on my way. There'll be plenty more on my tail, I can tell you that. We'll be picked clean in no time. <laughs> Could it be true? Maybe. Excuse me, I'm here to see Mr. Mathers. I've heard nothing, Margaret. Damn it, Mather, you hire me again. You simmer down. Is there no one who's met a Virginian wheelwright? No man who served with Fremont? I ask everyone that comes through, Margaret, just like I told you. I would. Hands off! That wagon's mine! You're Hands wasting off. my time, girl, and your own. Best let it go. I can't! My father. Not the Indians that killed your men. <coughs> Those are Modoc people. Mm. He's a clamant. Stand away from that prisoner, Mr. Wheeler. Mm. This chastisement will serve as fair warning to all renegade tribes. I joined the army to open up new lands, but by opening them, we had changed them forever. I'd had my belly full of soldiering and paid too high a price for it, in my heart and in my soul. My family, or so I thought then, was forever lost to me. Jethro had taken my place and they lived in their rightful peace. Once I had found that peace for myself in the solitude of the mountains. And hoped I would again. I don't know. I think I heard someone say they're looking for gold. Really?
Don't pass me by so easily, friend. A mere fraction of an ounce of gold. Yours could be the secret of vitality. Fancy a poke. Sorry? Only five dollars worth every penny. Decided to try your hand? Yeah, maybe. Some here's made enough for two lifetimes already. Martin. Martin Jerry. Uh, Jethro Wheeler. I've seen the elephant live to tell the tale. $397.17. Just like that. I'll be wishing you luck, Jethro. You just pulled that out of the water? Think on the Lord's word, brothers. What shall it profit a man to gain the world but lose his own soul? Ah, uh, move along, preacher. Take your doxology work someplace else. You're scaring away all the gold. <laughs> you, brother. Turn back now. Turn back before the wages of sin exact their it's fearful toll. It's none of my business, Reverend, but if the good Lord didn't want a man to profit from all those rocks he put in the ground, why'd he put them there? Kochukin, <laughs> Gentlemen, not a twitch. Hey, you, uh, you looking for someone, gal? You ask me, because, uh, I know everybody. Step aside, sir, please. I have business with your officer. <laughs> well, listen to that, huh? <laughs> this little gal's got business, huh? Back to your work, Private. Can I help you, miss? Are there any men here who served with Captain Fremont? Some in the parade marched under his flag. There's a few bear flaggers left. Who are you looking for? Jacob Wheeler. Oh, Jacob Wheeler. Sure, I know. Come with me. I've never seen a mule skinner like old Jacob. Mule skinner? Yes, ma'am. Now, I'll do for you. First, you got to do for me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's all right. You're safe with me. You have to listen to me. You have to leave here. You have to leave here immediately. You have to trust me. You must leave. Yes, this one appears to be a new size. It's too pretty. Oh, nonsense. No, I have many of these. For well, my sittings, of course. Thank you, Mr. Bix. Please, uh... Call me Ethan. I shall call you Margaret. All right? You're very kind. must allow me to make your portrait sometime. I couldn't. Oh, I think you could. not very big. <laughs> if you know what you were talking about, you know that's probably worth about $30. You have found more of this? Not yet, but I will. Can I hold it? Sure you can. You've never seen anything like it. Hundreds of them in the river pulling out a fortune without even trying. That's nature's bounty, and it's, it's right there for the taking. It cannot be so easy. I'm telling you, it's just sitting there in the water waiting to be found. I'm by God going to find it. I want to do what's right by all of us. You have. No, no. A man can always do better, and that's just what I mean to do. But you could fix wheels again. Well, I'm, I'm no wheelwright. And neither was Jacob. You know that. Your brother would not care about such things. Hell, he could be in the middle of some stream right now making his fortune. He sure ain't here. It will be cold tonight. Please bring in the wood. Abe can do it. Oh. Day is hard prospecting. Takes it right out of the mail. after him since my brother. Like I said, when I'm done here, they're not gonna want for anything. For me, I'm going upriver. I spent most of that 400 on supplies. There's some making more coin selling a man his three squares than standing in water all day. <laughs> well, it gets right into my bones. You gotta get yourself one of these. Every now and then, it warms a man's body. And his spirit. Hey, can you get my friend here one of these special flasks dig it out of the back? Fifteen dollars. <laughs> that's robbery, that's what that is. Doesn't mean I don't want it. Told you. Hey, you get this 
this thing out. Mm, one of them hookers knows how. <laughs> this winter will be hard if the new barn is not finished. Our animals will not have shelter. I told you, I got no time for that. Let it be. I just found gold and you want me to pound nails. What's he saying? When I strike it, son, it'll be for all of us. I'm not your son. Did you... you mind your manners or I'll come up there and strap you! You ain't my father, you ain't strapping me! <laughs> Boy's got no call to act like that. I treated him like he's my own. My own! There's no meat. The miners have chased away all the game. Better Abe's not much of a hunter. You better start providing for your mother. Like you are. What'd you say? Nothing. What'd you say? Nothing. It's time you learn some respect. You understand Enough. me? Enough. I am tired. Sit down, eat. <laughs> It does not know what he does. Mother's ill head key with call. What she a hedgehog the schnello? That is not why I stay. I stay because this is the home I have made. Don't worry on my account. There's always work for a good writer. You are no longer a boy. There are only a few coins here. But I give them to you. Nilakota Jakik Soyage. Dogstar's father had taught him as a boy to keep the winter count, which told the story of the people's journey. 
Now it became his responsibility to preserve the count for the next generation. Chile he un chapi he ho Chaku wa ste ma yaki pazo Onani echa onuni ya u I'm David Wheeler. Jethro's cousin. <laughs> sure is good, ma'am. Haven't eaten like this for a month of Sundays. <laughs> How did you find us? Just uh, passed around Sacramento. And exactly down the road from Wheelerton. Well, the uh, family got a letter from Margaret. She had this notion Jacob was still alive. Wanted us to tell him she was looking for him if he came by the house. The girl got it into her head that he didn't die. And Abe got it into his head not to mind me, both of them. With Kotko Capilo. <clears throat> I, uh, I came out west to make my fortune. I intend to die a rich man. <laughs> not pounding iron. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, how much you pulled out of that river? Some here, some there. I, I was hoping we'd partner up. What do you got to invest, David? I got these. Well, on a crack and blister until I hit pay dirt. What do you say, huh? Well, yes. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> in the water like that? Swirl it around.
Bitches, they won't be coming back. It's my claim now. <laughs> Spare some dust so I can get a drink. Did you hurt? What happened to you? Just down to my luck. A little turn. Thought you headed up river. I did. Just didn't tap in. You can mistake me for a drink. Pay you back when I hit it. I dreamed a dream the other night that everything was still. I dreamed that I was carrying my lungs on down a hill. My feet slipped out and I fell down. How I dried my liver. Oh, I washed my lungs on. Still I see the river. Hey, Jetson. What? you think, Sam? That's a big vein. Let's see. A quarter, maybe a third, maybe a half. Maybe. <laughs> you must take it from here quickly. We gotta get this assay. River's up. Right, we'll go downstream to Sacramento. There's banks there. We'll set out at dawn. We gotta move fast. We'll take Jake with us to cover our backs until we no. reach the river. He is a boy. Well, he's old enough to make sure we keep what's ours. This is not his doing. Do not make him part of it. Oh, you never were for this. Even now, you're not happy about it. No, I know I'm not Jacob. Right, but I've no one tried to do my best. Be. I've made mistakes. Right, I've made mistakes, I know that. But things are going to be different now. All right? If you were white, you know that having that rock means everything. It means everything I ever promised you. Please, please give me a chance to prove it. Please, I'll show you. Please. Please. I will pack food for you. Buy me a grand city house. My servants to wait on me, like those plantations back home. <laughs> <laughs> About you, Jethro. Mm. What are you gonna do with your half? <laughs> half. What are you talking about, half? That was my claim. You get your reward, but you ain't getting half. I'd say your take is a is a quarter. I found it. Mm-hmm. I found it! You owe me half, you son of a bitch! You being family, I'll make it a third. Take it or leave it. Now sit down and have a drink.
Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're done. Well, thank you very much. My thank sister you should have this portrait ready for you momentarily. Let's see what we look like. Margaret? Just be a moment. Like this, perhaps? I think so. I was so young. I still see that face sometimes. Well, we'll get one of these pictures engraved. We'll post it everywhere. Mommy, when are you going to introduce me to your mother? Not ashamed of me, are you? Ashamed? Mm. After all, I am a foreigner. That's not it. Then what? There are things about me that you don't know, Ethan. Then tell me. I'm not pure white. My mother's Lakota. Out here, none of that matters. Out here, everyone has a clean slate. I feed those who are hungry. More and more they come. They pay me with the gold that stole away Jethro's spirit. Some I keep to make our lives better. 
some I give back to the earth as an offering. Surely you can afford to leave now. I will never leave this place. Why not? What's that one? The spirits spoke to me in a dream. How do you... They told me that one day your father would return to this place. The spirits. Dreams. Otua hetaka. Ektayena lakota. Oonya kenichi. The ways of our people must change, or they will die. That is what I have learned in San Francisco. I see you hold my daughter in your heart, Ethan Biggs. But the new ways are not always better. No, I make no such claim. But yes, it's true. I do hold your daughter in my heart. So it is with my own husband. Even when I was wife to his brother, I was bound to him alone. If Okantan can blesses you with such a bond, there is nothing that can destroy it. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. The roads of the people and the white man could not be kept apart. The white father in the place called Washington sent word that all the nations of the plains should gather to hear his words. <laughs> From all directions, many nations came to the Great Smoke to show their desire to live at peace with the whites. The Lakota called it the Council at Long Meadows, and our friends the Cheyenne called it the Horse Creek Treaty. To the whites, it was a treaty of Fort Laramie. Article 5. The aforesaid Indian nations do hereby recognize and acknowledge the following tracts of country included within the meets and boundaries here and after designated. The Broken Hand, who spoke for the White Father, divided the, the earth among the, the nations as if he were the creator himself. He gave each nation land they already owned. The White Father then told the nations to live in peace with one another and to allow the wagons of the whites to pass through without harm. For that, he would give us cattle to eat and find things. But for any wrong the people did, the people would make payment. You cannot put stock in an Indian's word, Mr. Fitzpatrick. I can assure you, Lieutenant Grattan, that if these people wished us harm, we'd all be quite dead. Once they've collected their trinkets, they'll go back to pillaging. Tell me, Lieutenant, how long have you labored to keep our frontier safe? This is my first posting, sir. Hmm. West Point, is it? It is. You'll find that the reality out here is a lot different from what the generals preach. You do well to remember that young man. Tohani, 
Kapra peak the hecha. Hecha kopishni hanta, dohani wola kota, oni kinkte. Washte. Wochipi. Trapper fixed it. What's the matter? What on earth is it? I just met a fella. You may have seen Jacob fixing a wheel. We'll look after this little one if you can, sir. I will. Make sure that he behaves himself. Steady pace will get you there in a couple of days, and I want to wish you luck. All right. We'll keep an eye on the gallery for us. Safe journey. Don't you move. I'll blast your guts down your backside. I'm not a thief. Shut up! You don't look like a thief. You don't know the words, that's for certain. You announced yourself a mile away. We're looking for someone. We're looking for Jacob Wheeler. Is that you? Daddy. Oh, that young man. No, <laughs> Hukshila <laughs> 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 Takuja. Takuja.
Fine looking squaw, ain't she? She got a good looking daughter, too. I wouldn't mind making her coins. Why haven't taken me a bath? <laughs> I never know an Indian gal do wash like her. Her husband wants that clean britches every day. Twice on Sunday. <laughs> but you don't need britches when you're an Indian gal. Come on. Bet you ain't wearing none of that skirt you got on, either. Well, we're just gonna have to find out, won't we? <laughs> well, easy there, partner. <laughs> Mind that scatter gun, friend. She knows how to use it. Just get along and leave us alone, mister! Oh, leave my little knee half free. Uh, let go of me! Look at that, you tough little half Look at that! Stop! Oh, bitch! Hand over your pistols. I'm clear on out. You got no call to take our pistols. You're lucky I don't kill you for sport. Who might you be, friend? I'm the man that's gonna wing you both just so I can carve your scalps and show them to you before I kill you. Jacob Jr., take this, son. You don't know. All right. Next time you talk to a man's wife, you'll show her some respect. Get on out! Get on out! My name's Jacob Wheeler. From now on, any of you sons of bitches step out of line. You answer to me. Anybody want to tell him that? From his days as a boy, when Tratranka let him live, loved by the buffalo was chased by dark dreams of days yet to come for the Lakota. He had seen the white man's wheel scarring the land, grinding into the earth, rolling over all in its path, a weapon that would make the world a desolate place. He traveled the land and lived among its peoples, seeking an answer to this terrible prophecy. Hey, Kitsidaki, a kitsidaki, Upolo, Upolo, Kitsidaki, Upolo. 
Conquering bear, a cow was taken from a wagon train that passed by this village. And I demand that you return this cow and turn over the thief. Tua pake gleska, ki wonu kiki, chinyelo. Te gleska ki meno pishnilo, te gleska ki le otikta. Yungi hunina, tako ota yushiche. Te otala wachasha ska gi ochi aga gay, ash maniia. Te gleska ki ana yusta, te otalapi. Te gleska ki le ektea. <laughs> I for Ed uh, killed the cow and they ate it. He's a minon conju. Ma tache o itaka re. Kichi tache gala tako yo pro he. Gaku gaku. Ah, tache o yaka yo. So I don't need all. Te bleska kile un kaju pikte. Ana unta ash. Shunchele un wanji chuk pikte. Yes, God. They're not gonna give you this, man. They give you something for the cow. Tell him the man who took this cow will go to the stockade. He must turn this man over to me now. Pakti, wanka yatu, wucha yaku, le cash cap pikati. Niton yelo, hakio yakakio. Chenum papi, na shunka wakanzata, on ichi chaju piktalo. He want to uh, sit and smoke with you. The United States Army does not bargain with thieves. Chenu, shne. Ready on those guns. It's just cows. Man. Ready those guns, or I'll have you in the stockade for insubordination. Conquering Bear, you are hereby ordered by the U.S. Army to hand over this cow thief or suffer the consequences. What's he saying? Will he give me this man? No. Fire. Sir? Fire, damn you! The people's pain was deep and their anger beyond control. The white man had shown himself to be without honor. The Treaty of Long Meadows was to be no more. The wrath of the white father in Washington rained down and became a flood that could not be stopped. Everything seemed to be disappearing into a great hole in the earth. The vision of Growling Bear was coming to pass. Love by the buffalo was afraid. The West is a place, not a way to live. 
Others would come to these lands seeking to escape the growing darkness back east. But the shadows would follow them, as they did Uncle Benjamin's son Samson and his family, the next wheelers to set their wagons toward the promise of the setting sun. Dumpa, just like you said, it'd be Lincoln elected president, South Carolina to secede from you. This wheel could use a rim, Jeremiah. Aye, sir. I measured it out for you. Like I was saying, sir, if there's work, I'm looking to get hired on. Now, I've been pounding iron a long time now. I even had my own shop on the plantation where I was born. Now, I done, I done fixed wheels, shot horses. I even turned me some real nice French quarter bandages, too. Mm-hmm. I've been freed by my master, and I got papers to prove it. If it's food you need, I... With all due respect, sir, I'll be working harder and faster than two men. Now, don't expect much. I'm just some place to lay my head when the day's done. We could have the room in the back of the shop, huh? I work for nothing till you see I in line for what I can do. What's your name? Henry. Henry Foster, sir. My sons, Aaron and Jeremiah. Shake hands, boys. The Lord did not intend for these western lands to be cursed with the scourge of slavery. Virginia may be lost, but we must endeavor to make sure Kansas stays free. Samson Wheeler. You'll work for wages. I won't have it any other way. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, then, Henry. Let's get to work. Yes. Mr. Lincoln has made a proposal to span the country with a telegraph and a railroad. A most righteous enterprise. Do you think there will be war? Men driven to extremes are capable of anything. But war and hatred only breed more war and hatred. Well, things will go hard in our people back in Wheelerton. Let those that would make war look to their consciences for forgiveness and love, as we have to ours. Why isn't Clara helping you? Oh, I do hate to pull her from her so well. Well, the girl will never learn to make a home if you allow her to avoid her responsibilities. Well, I believe she is called to a higher purpose, Samson. Someday, women in New Orleans or Atlanta or perhaps even New York could be wearing her gowns. Frivolities. Sheer frivolities. <laughs> Come in. Clara, your mother requires your help for supper. Papa, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It isn't done yet. Do you like it? It's quite beautiful. It is, isn't it? You know, Clara, your mother might appreciate a new dress for material. I know just what to buy. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> I'll make her the best dress in Lawrence. Yes, you will. There are those on our borders who seek to deter us from the great cause which we have made our own. I speak of the murderous bushwhackers who refer to themselves as Quantrell's Raiders. Yeah. I say to you today, we will defend our homes. Yeah. And we will defend our beliefs. Yeah. And we will not shy from blood Amen. until every godless, slave-holding citizen of Missouri is cast into a burning pit of hellfire! <laughs> Mr. Lane, why don't you save your gut for all those blue-bellied Yankees back east? You and all your Jayhawk in Kansas trash. See, we're not gonna stand for you coming around here and dictating to us with your nigger worshiping! Talk about hellfire, Mr. Lane. Well, I reckon we're gonna make things hot enough around here for you. Real soon. And that is a fact, sir. I've seen your faces. And I'm gonna kill y'all. I'm gonna murder every last one of you, and I'm gonna like it! Brown's body lies. 
is a moaning in his grave. John Brown's body lies a moaning in his grave. John Brown's body lies a moaning in his grave. His soul is marching on. The pay was $100 a month. The distance was 2,000 miles. St. Joe, Missouri to Sacramento, California. The ad read, wanted, young, skinny, wiry fellows, not over 18, must be experienced riders willing to risk death daily. Orphans preferred. Not many were orphans, but like my son Abe Wheeler, they were all hungry for freedom and a taste of adventure. And they weren't long finding it. <laughs> Sends it off on Express. Somehow. You sign Indians? Well, not until just now. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Hey, Wheeler here has seen the back of every station from what? St. Louis, clear to Sacramento? Yeah, more than once, too. That's all. Well, I rode me 60 miles today. How many miles do you make? Of course, I done better. <laughs> 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 I did my talking in the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got yourself a race, Abe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ten years had passed since I'd been restored to those I loved. While the country lay on the verge of disunion, for us that decade was a time of great healing. Never again would I know such peace and contentment. Mother, Father, everyone's waiting. Hurry, please. Ethan's losing the lights. Right now, Mr. Wheeler, could I have you move a fraction closer to Mrs. Wheeler and... And just for the sake of symmetry, Jacob Jr., could you please <clears throat> uh, change places with Cornflower? Thank you. All right. Not a twitch. And in this time of terrible trial, we ask that you give strength to Mr. Lincoln's soldiers. Keep our son Abraham safe, wherever he may be. And bless our Lakota family. Bless their wives, and bless their children. Amen. 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 Let's eat. <clears throat> now, Ethan. Yes, sir. Tell me the truth. Does Margaret treat her man the same way her mother does me? Jacob. No, it's all right. Margaret is her mother's daughter in many respects, Mr. Wheeler. Jacob passed the potatoes. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, but can she cook? That is a very dangerous question for me to answer right now, Mr. Wheeler. Aren't you eating? Hmm? It's time for me to go, Pa. There's war on now. And California's declared for the Union. It's time to set out on my own. you're headed? North, maybe. East across the territories. 
I just let the wind blow me where it wants to. Well, I'd like you to have my pistol. I feel better knowing you're carrying a gun. It's already done some killing. It knows what it's about. Jacob, there are plenty out there who mean harm, so don't you be afraid to use it. Better that than getting killed. You understand me? Yes, sir. Very nice, but no thank you. Get to work. I reckon I'd best be moving on, Mr. Wheeler. No. To give in to such terror is to admit defeat. I'll not have any of that kind of talk. are all well and good for the boys, but I worry for Clara's sake. At least allow me to send word to Cousin Daniel in Omaha. Will not have the girl there. obliged for her welfare to a man with whom I am not on friendly terms with. Never have been. I beg you, Samson. No more of this. As each year passed, Dogstar continued the count. The symbols he drew caused him much pain, but he did not abandon the sacred trust which had been placed in him. His brother Running Fox joked that he saw no difference in the pictures, just more white men every year. Pass me a horse, damn it. it. Ain't no rush. We're closing down. What? Pick up your final pay of Sacramento. We're done in. Oh, 
货，都给断货，我也是，都给断货，我也是。Excellent shot, Trooper. You see Trooper! You see Trooper! <laughs> Mene, eta, mak tua. Mene, eta, mak tua. Mene, eta, mak tua. What's he saying, sir? I'll find out. He's thirsty. Folks he killed won't be drinking. Get the boy. Don't make a chinky get gang you. Their language. What of it? Half the problem out here is we can't communicate with them. Army could use a man like you if you got a mind to help these people. If I were you, I'd think about it. Great lands have opened, and every day. Settlers arrive needing help. I've signed on with the army as a scout and interpreter, and I apprehend that I may be of some small use in the noble effort to preserve our union in these western lands. Do not worry on my account. For I know I have not yet met my destiny. I look up at the moon and stars and am comforted, knowing that we see the same thing, and that connects us, even if we are separated by a great distance. I remain your loving son, Jacob. <laughs> you ever miss your family? You are my family. Pishnehani, Ina Wanka, Eduana, Wichakpi, Eyanke, Eyo Yambiake, Eyo no Malaka Ho Ka Wichakpi, Eya to Keshke, Shonkawa, Gagaspi, Elechaki, Malaka Ho. Echa jeki, echa maku. Jonka wa chakpi. 
and bet you on hell. The cash like hell. I happy mark pier, he check you. The coach all. That they want, you'll the duck. Quantrail is burning the town. We cannot allow these marauders to outrage us again. Whosoever shall smite thee on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. I've none left to turn, Susanna. The Lord himself is a man of war, and this is his right hand. But not this way! No more words. Papa, what is it? Clara, I want you to get out of town. I want you and your mama to get out of town, no matter what you hear, no matter what you see. You keep running, you promise me? Aren't you coming with us? You're a talented girl. I want you to use your gift. I want you to use your gift to do good. <laughs> you promise me that. happen to us. I want you to make your way to Cousin Daniel in Omaha. I'll take good care of you. Mom! All right. All right. All right, now go. No! Clara, no! Go! No! Run! Run!
too many found the ravages of the West to be unendurable. Yet there were countless others who called on a courage they never knew they possessed. Clara Wheeler was one of these rare spirits. She would survive. Love by the Buffalo had traveled across the nations, but had not yet found the prophet who could make false the terrible vision of the white man's wheel. He sought the signs that would lead him to his people's salvation, but found only traces of those who had come before and vanished into the darkness. They say it's going to take 10 years to finish the line. I'd sure like to ride it one day. One train from Atlantic to Pacific. Woohoo! <laughs> Maybe they'll finish it. Maybe they won't. 
There's money to be made, and I fully intend to see our family gets its share. I want to see 20 wheels on that wall by sundown. Come on, Pop, you're talking like the railroad's already here. Listen to me. We have to make ready. Haven't I taught you anything, boy? Pardon me, sir. My name is Clara Wheeler. My father's name was Samson Wheeler. You can't turn out an orphan, Daniel. The poor thing has no one. I'll send her back east where she belongs. And where will she find safety in the middle of a war? We've heard nothing from Wheelerton these many months. There are places in St. Joe, across the river, where she could be with her own kind. It is our Christian duty to care for that child. We're the only people that she has left. Well, then she's not even Samson's natural child. Just a foundling he took in. As was his want, we owe her nothing. What? Mother's right. Excuse me. We just can't turn our backs on someone looking for our help. Not after what she's been through. Maybe if it was one of us. Charity always costs those that give it. So you bear that burden upon yourself, I take it. Be responsible for her. Mm, I will. And you will answer for her for good or ill. That's right. Very well, then. Because Clara's our guest, Lily. We're all gonna have to learn to make sacrifices. Really, the floor is fine. There's comfort in just having a roof over my head. Mother says you can wear some of her things until she can make you some new ones. Please tell her not to bother. I know how to work the sewing machine. I used to have time for frivolities. I thought the world was a pretty place, but it's not. Well, uh, let me know if you need anything. Just, I'll be in my room. Thank you. As governor of the state of California, I am proud to welcome you to this glorious celebration of our American industry. We of the Central Pacific Railroad have come far these last few months. Further, I might add, than our competitors on the Union Pacific. Brother. The great race has now begun. We may now look forward to the day when the Pacific will be bound to the Atlantic with bands of iron that shall consolidate and strengthen our ties of nationality and advance with giant strides the prosperity of our nation. Can you imagine, Margaret? We're going to have breakfast in San Francisco, supper in Carson City, all the way to the Mississippi in just three days. It is truly remarkable. It's all changing so fast. Yeah, the wheels of progress, my dear. The wheels of progress. It is our destiny to smash it asunder! Oh. Two, one, finally. Oh, two, one, here. I'm going to go to the 
What did you say, Madonna? Oh, something my mother said to me before we were married. Her world always seems so different than mine. I'd like to see it sometime. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't see something sometime. Ethan? Hmm? Do you mean it? Absolutely. It's what we've always said we'd do. We could catch the next stage to Denver. Really? You are brilliant, you know that? And exquisitely beautiful. Truly one of the most wonderful women I've ever known. And there have been so many in my life. Oh, I love you too. Mm. My daughter Margaret and her husband Ethan were not alone in their wandering. My son Abe joined the ranks of jobless men who threw their lot in with the Central Pacific on its thousand mile journey east from Sacramento. By the time it was finished, the railroad would profoundly impact my children's lives. Come back here, Chief. The name's Abe. One of the lost tribes of Israel, are we? Well, my Old Testament friends, have you had a look at the offering you just brought me? Now, we're trying to keep the grade level. This won't do it. You'll have to clean it up. That's your job. of these men. You can't speak to them as though you were speaking to gentlemen, Mr. Crocker. They're as near as brutes as they can get. Now, most of these nicks will be off to the gold fields as soon as they can earn a grub stamp. We started with 5,000 men. Now, I got less than 600. Well, there seems to be a surplus of Chinese in San Francisco. They're said to be very reliable workers. I will not force Chinese! Outraged to all civilized people. The Hungate family, cruelly murdered on their own land. Land only 25 miles to the east of our fair city. Sacrificial lambs slaughtered by the godless Cheyenne dog soldiers. Their bodies cast like Joseph's into a well. Who's this speaker? Colonel Shevington, the fighting parson. Whoop the gray coats at Glorietta Pass, and he's gonna give these redskins a hiding! Brothers and sisters of Colorado, our territory sits poised just on the cusp of statehood, but there can be no statehood without order. Yeah. And there will be no order as long as a single savage is allowed to occupy one sacred inch of our precious soil. Now there is hope. Governor Evans has authorized me to muster a new regiment for our self-defense. Yeah. Yeah. Now, who of you will join me in this righteous enterprise? Grizzly business, then. Why must you insist on making a record of it? No, that's what we do. Sorry. I just wasn't thinking. Hell of a price to pay for some mangy cows. Well, they say old man Hungate was out looking for strays when they put you in. Yes, thank you kindly. I think if you could keep quiet. Well, making your pardon, madam. You just leave everything to Colonel Shippington. When he wants to get something done, you bet it gets dipped.
Stan, what are they doing to us? I think they are taking us to their camp. I won't let anything happen to us. Focus! They are treating us as honored guests. They admire you here. You're one of them. No. I've spent most of my life denying my mother's blood. It's all right. Take these. It's all right. I'll be here. Tell me about this magic box. We call it a camera. Cam camera. 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 Hmm. The white man's words, they have no uh, music in them. You speak them very well. So many white men come. They fill our land with their noises. I do not like their language. Their words, they have no meaning. Walking on the white man's road as you have done, it is difficult. The uh, spirit does not know where to rest. Sometimes I, I feel a hole in my heart. Ah, the white men are like locusts. They fly so thick that the whole sky looks like a snowstorm. And we are like small buffalo herds left scattered. They will keep coming. They are building a, a railroad. It will carry them from one ocean to another.
Kitos, sa eva missin. Mahas. Ne saun kui ha. Peho, on kestani mu. Uhani mustani. Stasiho. Saatis i. Ikse. Ikne totse. Eja. She says, uh, I am not so ugly in your magic box. <laughs> when the White Father told those of us who wished peace to come to this place, we came. But there is nothing here for us. Without the buffalo, our boys cannot become men. They seek war to prove themselves. In Denver, we saw a family. They had been horribly butchered. Some said it was your people. This is a lie. There are bad white men, and there are bad Indians. Bad men on both sides. They have brought about this trouble. But I am determined to end this fighting. You will help me. You understand the white man's thoughts. Yet, in these shadows, I see your true heart. Take my message of peace to the tall chief in the fort. Major, you better come take a look at this. asks for a counsel. I bear witness to his fair treatment. I've been traveling under a cloud. The skies have been dark ever since the war came. We want to take good tidings home to our people. I want all the chiefs of the soldiers to understand that we are for peace that we may not be mistaken by them for the enemy. Governor Evans and Colonel Shivington have heard your words. 
The governor and the father of all white men in this territory will now speak to you. We cannot live together on this land. War among the whites is nearly through. The great father will have nothing to do with his soldiers except send them out after the Indians. Your people must make their peace with us. I have done my best to keep my young men quiet, but they do not always listen. And by their rebellion, they seek to help the gray coat traitors who make war on us. No, we do not fight the white man's war. All Cheyenne, have ears open. White antelope, proud to see all white chiefs of this country. Since I go to Washington and received this medal, I have been proud to call all white men brothers. Whatever peace you make must be with the soldiers, not with me. Is she? No. I am not a great war chief, but in this country, all the soldiers are under my command. My rule of fighting, whether it's the great coats from the South or the Indians, is to fight them until they lay down all their arms and submit to military authority. When you are ready to do that, then Major Wincoop, Major Wincoop, at Fort Lyon, we'll see to all your needs. Please, everybody, look this way. Legit gear. That's no captive. She's one of them. Black Cattle, it is an honor for me to present to you the flag of the United States. Everyone, very still. With all due respect, gentlemen, Cheyenne don't want a war. I believe their pledge is to be sincere. And what will I do with the third Colorado volunteers if we make peace? The third was raised primarily to kill Indians. then they must kill India. The tall chief said, as long as this flag flies above our camp, no soldiers will harm us. Margaret Lightshines had lifted the people's spirits with the magic of the white man's shadow box. Now Black Kettle called on the young men who remained behind to search for the buffalo. Fed, given a place to rest. We march on the hostiles at Sand Creek tonight. Well, I've heard of no new provocation, sir. Don't you know the Cheyenne Nation is guilty of robbery, arson, murder, rape, and fiendish torture? Not even sparing women and children, I feel it is right and honorable to use any means under God's heaven to end these outrages. Including murder, Colonel? First Sergeant Owen! Sir! Post the ring of pickets around the perimeter of this post. Any man trying to leave will be shot on sight. Is that understood? Yes, sir. 
damn any man of sympathy with the Indian. Well, when will you leave? Tomorrow. You have brought us much happiness, but it's good you should return to your people. Many white people will see the Cheyenne as they really are. They will understand that your spirits are peaceful. I will keep this one. For my wife. <laughs> of course. This is good medicine. My husband and I can never repay you for the kindness you have shown us. You go in peace, my granddaughter. And may one day your heart will be full again. Thank you. your overcoats, men. Ah, you'll fight better without them. Help! Remember the Hun gates? You look back on the plains of the Platte where your mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters have been slain, their blood saturating the sands. Take no prisoners. Kill them all. Scalp them all.
When you return to your people, tell them, tell them a great shame fills my heart. Get back away, hang, Chucky. You are my people now. You see how these savages treat their prisoners, Major? Damn you to hell, Colonel. You wanted war, now you're gonna have it. Two rails every 30 seconds, one on each side. Four rails to the minute. Three strokes per spike, 10 spikes per rail. 400 rails to the mile. It's 1,800 miles to San Francisco. 21 million times I got to swing those hammers. Listen to that sound. That's money. Money. You know, it won't be long before this enterprise gets beyond the reach of any town. And men deprived of their diversions are inclined to get restless. So if they can't come to town, why then the town would just have to come to them? Give them any? Yes, I'm sure doesn't look like it. Not now. There's gonna be thousands of boomers coming up here to the North Platte from Omaha. Men with nothing to do once winter sets in. Right here. Right here is where we're gonna stake our own little claim. Our own little empire. Good work. Take me with you. No woman folk allowed. It's just gonna be Father, me, and Jackson. Thomas is to see the business here. You and Lily, you look after Mom. I can work as hard as any of your brothers. And harder, I expect. Well, what is it then? You know Father. You're not like him. You are decent. Two staves? It's supposed to be three. Father is father. He is who he is. There's no use trying to change him. Family's family. You know what it's like. They were taken from me. Out here, we can make our own way in life. Robert, some of us haven't got a choice. Well, we've always got a choice. First wheelers came out here. It was all wild country. Grandpa's cousin Jacob, he was the first to come out. Should have heard stories about him. They tamed so much of it. I figure the railroad will tame what's left. It just isn't gonna be much of a west once it's finished. I guess I just wanna see it before it goes. That's all. Let me see it with you. You're all I have left. You are my only family.
father's gonna have himself a proper fit. Then you'll help me? I can't make promises. I'm gonna take two mallets. Mm -hmm. Dogstar had once believed the white man would someday lead the land. Now, with his grandson Whitebird and his son Sleeping Bear, he saw them come like a prairie fire on hot wind. Many passed through the sacred ground where the hoop of the world bent to the four directions, seeking the yellow stone that made them crazy. Dogstar had heard how the long knives repaid Black Kettle's promise of peace. He feared that a similar fate awaited his people. Some promised to fight until every white man was driven from their sacred land. The bravest of these leaders sent his messengers riding through the nation. Dogstar's brother Running Fox answered the call to battle and invited the great warrior to speak to their village. His name was Machbia Luta, Red Cloud. Makoche Kilel. Dwachto kea hoki na umpihuo. Kie? Makoche mitrawa akan, dachto kumpi ki, hena wa chinchnina, wa lashnielo. Mako pashpe jik ala, wa gluhacha, wa shichu ki opta maza chanku, garapi wa chinchnielo. Dohaya. Niwaunki, makoche kile, waglo haktelo. Etu snielo. Red Cloud spoke, and White Crow, his son Redlands, and many young men were inspired to follow him to protect their land. Sleeping Bear and White Bird also wished to fight. But Dogstar had already lost one son to the white man and did not wish to sacrifice another. Keep straight, lads. Celestials. Worse than savages, you are. Half made men. What do you know about railroad construction? They built the Great Wall of China, didn't they? Quickie, quickie. Come on, lads, keep it straight. You got a problem? Men say you Indian. Yeah, one of it. Never seen Indian. Very afraid you eat them. Well, I never had a celestial before. I'd like to try me one. Hey, Boiler. Chao Ping. My bad luck brings you out here, Chao Ping. Before here, Gamsan, Gold Mountain. Panguai steel claim. Gold enough for Chinese, he say. Why? White ghost. Demon. Panguai stand, talk, tell us what to do. Call us coolies. Chinese, like India. Bangui hit, steal, cheat. Come on, guys. Thank you, boss. Keep them straight. Incline 75 degrees. That face is straight up. We got a clear shelf three miles long across that bastard of a rock. Your plan to accomplish this, Mr. Trowbridge? Damned if I know, sir. Come on! One eye, bossy man. Think roll not possible. Use very bad language, but roll possible. How? Well, I'll be. Now, if there's one thing the Chinese know something about, it's gunpowder.
good. The white man's fort spread like a stain across the people's land. White Crow and Redlands joined the warriors of Red Cloud. There they would fight to remove any mark of the white man. This would be a different kind of war, fought like no other. It would be a war of watching, of waiting. ハニキ<音楽><音楽><音楽> Trains being fired upon. You are to support the supply train, Captain Fetterman. Relieve it and report back to me. Under no circumstances are you to pursue and engage the Indians over Lodge Trail Ridge. Is that understood? Yes, sir. No pursuit beyond Lodge Trail Ridge. Colonel Carrington, sir. Come on. Godspeed, Captain.
Break out of that rock. I'm trying for a year. Fun guy say move mountain. But mountain don't want to move. That's why it man's logic. Don't try to understand it. Go crazy trying. You got people back where you come from, Chopping? Have wife in home village. One day I finish here. Say to her. You come now. Give her silk dress. We go live in Taifao. Taifao? San Francisco, right? Learn Chinese real good. I'm studying your phrase books. Learn how to write a little of your alphabet. You have village? Americans don't belong. Attending one place. Just when we get settled, we up and get restless for something different. I rode the Pony Express till it played out. Never as free as when I was on the back of a horse. Nothing steady after that. Why are you staying now? Never been a part of something like this. Something permanent. Think maybe I'll see it through. Just this once. Maybe I'm just a crazy Indian, like they all say. <laughs> Once, North Platte had only been an empty prairie, 300 miles from Omaha. But ambitious men like Daniel Wheeler had turned the wilderness into a boom town. Carnivorous swarms followed the railroad workers every step of the way, devouring their weekly pay faster than grasshoppers. Jackson! Jackson! Paul and Paul! Sure is flush time. Yeah, hell on wheels. Should have seen the place before civilized. <laughs> I'm telling you, Wheeler, that the Union Pacific finds the very presence of a sinkhole like this a noxious affront. <laughs> I'd like to see you try to stop it, Caseman. You have a mutiny on your hands. It might be wiser for you to start thinking of us as informal partners. You appropriated railroad land for illicit purposes and then sold it to other speculators at five times its value. Don't bellyache to me if this Uni Pacific swells couldn't see the potential of their own right away. Do not presume to lecture me on what's good for the railroad. No. 
That's for you. Your masters back east don't need any lessons. Government bonds. 16,000 a mile for flatlands graded and tracked. 32,000 a mile for foothills. 64,000 a mile for mountains. Tell me, Caseman, how many so-called mountains has the Union Pacific climbed thus far? <laughs> you, sir, are a rank opportunist. Welcome to North Platte, sir. King of the Plains Emporium is a place for you. Best tables and the best liquor. They got the best looking women, too. Here, let me get that for you, sir. There you go. Give us this day our daily strangers. Hey. I have your britches ready. Five cents, please. That's for God. Now, those are getting pretty worn. You ought to let me make you a new pair. Yeah? Do that? Yeah. Oh, I like that. I'll have to measure you. Huh? Step right up. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Is your arms out like this? Well, sure looks like you're prospering. If I save up enough money. I can get my own shop, and I won't have to rent from your father anymore. Those are finer things, Claire. So do you. Robert! See ya. You're needed at the shop. Yes, sir. Don't let me see the light leave again, especially with that girl. That girl has a name, father. It's Clara! About time you got used to saying it. <laughs> These miscreants will not trouble your establishment again. What about my money, Colonel? Are you going to make good these men's debts? Good day, sir. Soldiering in the West was a lonely, miserable affair. Some men deserted outright, and others fell into bad habits. Before officers like George Armstrong Custer could tame any Indians, they first had to tame their own men. My son, Jacob Jr., didn't like what the Army had become, but still thought his skills could be used to preserve peace on the frontier. When Custer took charge of the 7th Cavalry, Jacob knew it wouldn't be long before his job went from scouting to killing. I don't reckon it's to spread. It'll help morale any. Men's morale will improve when they've been given Indians to fight. For that, gentlemen, I have relied upon your good offices. To no avail, it seems. The funny thing about Indians, Colonel, they ain't so easy to find when they don't want to be. Let me offer you an alternative explanation, Mr. Wheeler. You being half-breeds, have not applied yourself to the work with the requisite enthusiasm. The 7th Cavalry has been charged with clearing these plains of savages from the Arkansas to the Platte. All depredations on lands being opened up by the railroad are to cease. You will oblige me by performing your duties without further delay. Have I made myself clear? As day, Colonel. We're finished here, dismissed. Thank you, Trooper, that'll be sufficient. <laughs>
Margaret Lightshines had followed Black Kettle's people in their wanderings. She began to live the life of her mother before her. When the Long Knife Chief Sherman came to speak words of friendship, she listened, but she no longer trusted any white man. It was white men who had killed her husband. The Iron Horse is now crossing the lands between the Arkansas and the Platte. But there's land south of the Arkansas, and before it's taken, we'd like to set aside a part of it for your home. On this home, we'll build a house to hold the goods we'll send. To this home, we'll send a physician to live with you and heal your sick. We'll send a farmer to teach your people to grow corn and wheat, and a mill to make for you meal and flour. For all this, you'll receive an allowance of $20,000 each 12 moon to be spent by the White Father on your behalf. So why do you come here? Because Red Cloud has killed so many blue coats. This is the time for fighting, not talking. From this day forward, all war between the parties to this agreement shall forever cease. War will end in the total destruction of the Indian because his numbers are less. We've prepared peace papers. We ask that your chiefs and head men hold their councils and meet with us when the shadows are long to sign these papers. Many wrongs have been done, my people. But I still live in hope. I have not got two hearts. Senator, go back to Omaha. She belongs with your mother and sister. I don't want you to do that. You won't let me. You won't let me. You've been seduced by girlish blandishments. It's not like that. Yes, it is. If you want to expand some of that surplus of manly urges you've got, I suggest you do it in one of our own establishments. Stop it! I got a woman out there to teach that little slut. I sick, sick of you! Get off him. We'll let this pass for now. Don't let me choose. What are you looking at?
you. It's all right. It was about me. What happened before with your father, was it? It's not just the land that's changing, Clara. It's people. Me. No. You are one of the better angels. Oh! Better angels, huh? Better angels of our nature. That's what Mr. Lincoln called them. That's mine. How could a country so beautiful make men so cruel? <laughs> so the towns came and went. Julesburg, Sydney, Potter, Kimball, Archer. At every stop, the empire that Daniel Wheeler sought for his family grew a little larger. Then came Cheyenne, the magic city of the plains, nearly halfway between Omaha and the shores of California. The Wheelers had become men of substance, but Robert knew that something more important had been lost along the tracks, and he aimed to get it back. dress, Clara. Speaks of a real delicate sensibility. Delicate? My. Is that how you see me? No. I was just... Well, all I meant to say was it's just nice to see some refinement in a place such as this, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, you did just what you said you would. I'm proud of you. Let me show you something. take up drawing again. When I was a girl, I had such ambitions. I dreamed of owning a, a ladies' emporium in a place like New York or San Francisco. I imagined myself traveling to all the great capitals of Europe, and I had time to dream then, I suppose. Just never stop dreaming, Claire. Bold of me. Not nearly bold enough, Robert Wheeler. Donovan! A jackrabbit in need a canteen and a haversack to get through this desert. Makes me wish we were back in the mountains. Damn it! Put your backs into it! Every mile we make, the mother-loving Union Pacific makes more! Now you work! As though heaven is over before you and hell behind you! This isn't a lady social, Donovan! I'm begging your pardon, Mr. Strawbridge. You work these men any harder, you're not gonna have one left. The heat, sir! You get these cursed Celestials digging! If you don't get these Chinese working, Donovan, you and the other walking bosses will have to take their place on the line. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. What did you say? Can't or won't? No disrespect, man, sir. But we're gonna finish this railroad together, or we're not gonna finish it. In the middle day of rest, we resume work first light tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. Now, 
you said you didn't have any use for the Chinese. Could even less for bosses. <sighs> After two years of fighting, the Long Knives abandoned their forts and signed a treaty that gave the sacred lands back to the Lakota. Red Cloud had done what no man, white or Indian, thought possible. Young warriors took heart from this great victory. Many who had gone to the reservations began to return to their hunting grounds. There they found more white men. The circle of violence was renewed. Punishment fell on those who did not seek war. See that, Mr. Wheeler? A presentment of victory. Heaven sent, Colonel. Fine work, Scouts. I will send for you if I have need. <laughs> the Gary on, if you please, Corporal. Ha! <laughs> That one doesn't look like such a bad sword, does she, Armstrong? <laughs> their women possess a fierceness not found in their more refined sex. Those that have not been too degraded by being mere chattels may yet learn some rudimentary manners. And what's your name? This one goes by Margaret, ma'am. Margaret. That's a lovely name. It's nice to have met you, Margaret. The town, Yankatel. Oh, 
lieutenant to mind his privates. This one's a wild cat. <laughs> Do that game. There's a pony waiting at the crash. You go get on. You go right clear here. You understand me? Oh, I love no. yeah. <laughs> For me, Jacob. You tell them these things, Jacob. Lions will meet at Promontory Summit, Utah's Mormon country. But they say Brother Brigham appreciates the worth of a Gentile dollar. When they drive that last spike, our real opportunities begin. We'll have our pick of spur lions and... All in contracts? Yes. I don't want any part of it. I had hoped to bestow upon you our family's good fortune. That is no more or less of my obligation, as it is yours to respect and serve our business. And I'll carry out my duties until the rails meet. I owe you that. Once it's finished, I'm striking out on my own. You display no aptitude for enterprise, sir. That girl has a better head for business than you'll ever have. I underestimated her. Clara, father. You say her name? Clara. Clara. She makes people nice things. Taking advantage of their weakness doesn't seem much of business to me. Different times call for different methods. That's progress. I suppose I don't want much part of it. You better think hard on your future, boy. My 
wayward son Abe, that May morning was a triumph like no other. A ribbon of iron stretched 1,800 miles from the Mississippi to the Pacific Ocean. When those final rails were laid, America changed forever. Some men fancied that they represented the future of that new America, but it was men and women like Robert and Clara who would come to embody its true spirit. Their pluck and determination would be sorely tested in the years that lay ahead. We celebrate here today. Bless this majestic road and all those who ride upon it. May they and their business prosper. Now, where we now stand, but a few months since, could be seen nothing but the path of the red man. Now, a thousand wheels will bear on their axles the wealth of half the world, drawn by the iron horse, darkening the landscape with its smoky breath, and startling the wild Indian with its piercing scream. <laughs> we are a great people! You watch out for Fang Guai. Can't escape them. They're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 